All right, everybody. We are working on a 1974 Dodge Power Wagon W100. Uh, we got a fender here that uh, I've been working on. So I will flip it around and uh, show you what we're doing. So it's pretty decent fender. Uh, it's got some, some issues. But, uh, been working on it already a little bit. I've welded up some holes here. And here, where the emblems used to go. I'm gonna run, uh, no emblems on this truck. Uh, I had a rip here that I welded up and took care of. Right here is where the antenna hole used to be. Shave that off, run an internal antenna. A few things left. Got a couple of dents. Nice little creasy there. A couple of things to fix here. I've got a a little bit of a crease here. I'm gonna have to hammer and dolly out. And we've got some rust here. Gonna have to cut all that out and uh, patch it up. First thing I'm gonna start on is actually, I'm gonna shave these marker lights. Give it a lot cleaner look. I've already uh, cut out the mounting flanges that went back here, but uh, as you can see, I left the rolled lip all the way around because that helps give the fender strength there, so I didn't want to cut that out all the way. So I guess the first thing is I'll do is uh, clean this out, hammer and dolly that so that it's not affecting the shape of... Uh, our patch here and uh, then we'll get to get to making that patch Well, anyways, there you go. Is it the most perfect in the whole wide world? No, of course not. But I think it's pretty good. I didn't warp the panel, and uh, it's pretty solid. There probably are a few pinholes here and there. Whatever. It's not really a big deal. Uh, as far as smoothness, it's, it's fairly smooth. Uh, probably could use a little bit of glazing putty but the whole thing's getting skim coated anyways so hell with it looks good to me